Home is a very far off concept. You know, you know, I really don't even like, know what home is. What about growing up when you were a young boy? Uh, was it here in the Twin Cities or was it on a reservation? It was multiple homes. It was foster homes. It was stuff like that, you know. So home was never really a real a real statement to me, you know. Yeah. I think there was nothing that I could call home. Do you think in it, do you think in your adulthood you'll be able to establish a home? Yeah, maybe sometime. Maybe sometime in the future. Where do you see yourself in six months? In six months? Well, I don't want to lie, man. You know, I see myself out here. Are you are you interested in using some of the social services available in the city, in the county, to build a home or a career or any, anything like that? A home? Like I said, a home is a very far off concept. Do you hope to get closer to it? You know, I probably still wouldn't know what what it's like to, you know, even call a place a home, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but yeah, a career, you know, I got jobs, I work for a, you know, a moving company and stuff. But it's it's not like it's not like, you know, I could just up and call some place my home when, you know, I haven't had a home ever since, you know, I was young. Have you had apartments or room to rent in your adult years? Oh yeah. Yep. And what's what's why have they not worked out? Uh well there's just like faulty roommates and whatnot, you know. I just you know, I just don't get along with them, you know. Do you think you can make a home work for a while if you had your own your own apartment, your own place? Yeah, if I had my own place, not if I had an apartment with, you know, some other people because, you know, we all got our differences, you know, and we all can't make them work all the time, so, you know, we got to argue all the time. And... So living with people is a problem? Well, not in this community, but in a home, like what you would call a home, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An apartment would be good, you know. It's a place to stay, but I wouldn't, you know, put me around too many other different people than yeah. other people. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But you said you've been out and you've been homeless for years now. Eight years. Yeah. Eight years. How have you clothed yourself and fed yourself? Is it just going to food, sh uh, 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 like soup kitchens and? Things like that, and you know, you, you talked about the challenges you have sharing space with people and things like that. Mm. Do you see that as like emotional issues that you hope to work on sometime, like through a counselor or emotional you know, issues? Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't know. You know, I don't really tap into my emotions, you know, but. Like, you know, I don't really, it's a hard question to answer. Yeah, I understand. I just, I, I was almost homeless years ago and it took... Almost? Almost. I was one step away. Mm. Um, a, a lady let me stay in her place and I, but I just, I just smoked pot and drank and did drugs all the time. I was just mm. a bum. And uh, then I got another DUI and then I went to treatment. But I wasn't able to get sober until I worked on emotional things that I had going on, right? Because that's what caused me to want to drink and all that garbage. 
So I, I wonder that about people here. If you know, if, if, if you, you know, one, if they're if they have a problem with drinking or drugs, they get that taken care of. That's great, or they stop. But then, what about the underlying cause? What's the underlying cause? Right. I mean, if there's oh, like and emotion. that's where emotions come. Yeah, from. yeah, oh, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Because yeah, yeah. that's that, that that was my history. Would you? be receptive if you are given the chance to speak to a counselor or a mentor or something like that? Well, see, you know, I don't think so. Because it's not easy just to, you know, talk to somebody right. who, you know, you just met or whatnot, you know, it's not just, yeah. you know, all right, this is what happened, this is how it happened, you know, it's not like that, you know. Well, do you know mentors in your community that you can trust and talk to? Yeah. That's I good. do. But, you know, I'm not really at that point where I feel like, you know, I feel like I can trust them, but it doesn't really feel, you know, I'm still doing my thing, so I don't really feel like, you know, I can really trust them. Yeah. Son! Uh, what? Okay. Come on, yes. You want a cigarette? Yes. That one? 